Hey Sagittarius, it's Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your love reading, general in love, all right? Um, this will be for the first half of June. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus, all right? Um, if it does not resonate, please do check your Moon and Rising sign for additional messages, all right, Sagittarius? So let's hop into this reading. Let's see what messages are coming out, are going to come out for you. Well, let's see what messages will come out for you um, with this surrender deck. Um, love it. This is new. So um, let's see what you guys need to surrender to and let go of for the first half of June. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Alrighty. Um, if you guys would love to follow me, I am on IG, Facebook, and on Instingo as Fire Intuition, all right? If you guys want to book with me, fireintuition.com, all righty? So enough of my chit-chat. Let's hop into this reading, Sagittarius, okay? Let's see what we got. Messages for Sagittarius, all right? So we have surrender to play and surrender stress, all right? Take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is, play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. Okay, so it's time for you guys to rejuvenate. It's time for you guys to play. It's time for you guys to have fun. It's time for you guys to relax. Um, I feel like you guys are overthinking something or something is just weighing heavy on your mind. All right, so surrender to play. All right, so it's time for you guys to be playful. Sagittarius, all righty, love it. Um, let's see what else we have. Surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center, okay? So it's time for you guys to surrender to stress. Stop stressing yourself out, okay? Um, take a few deep breaths. For a lot of you guys, um, do a meditation or listen to um, some like meditation music at night on YouTube. They have lots of meditation music. Um, so you guys can listen to like um, a meditation for like healing, for stress, um, to like heal the whole body, just whatever it is that's stressing you out, all right? So you guys need to surrender stress and you guys need to be a little bit more playful, all right, for the first half of June. All right, Sagittarius, so let's hop into this reading. Let it be great. Let's see what messages are coming in for you guys in love, all right? Love messages for the sign of Sagittarius in love, first half of June. What's coming in for Sagittarius in love? First half of June. Let it be great. All right. Sagittarius. Love messages for Sagittarius. What's coming in for Sagittarius? First half of June. All right. Sagittarius. Let's see what's coming in. For you guys in love, let it be great. We have the Ten of Swords reverse. Some of you guys can be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. You guys are coming out of a cycle with someone, okay? Or you guys are just ready to start new. Um, so you're ending a cycle with someone and you're allowing a fresh start between you two. Or I feel like you guys are just coming out of a cycle that you guys were stuck in for a very long time and just moving forward. All right, Ten of Swords is reversed. We do have the Ten of Pentacles. That was a challenge. So, yeah, some of you guys are ending a long-term relationship. Could be a marriage. Just could have been long-term. Maybe you've been waiting 10 years. Maybe you were dealing with this person for a really long time. The Ten of Pentacles can also represent um, the fact that they could have been married or they were in some type of commitment and it was a challenge. And it's something that you really wanted, but you're just tired of waiting. Um, the Ten of Swords reverse can, you know, be like, you know what, let me stop... Um, obsessing over this situation like overthinking um so i feel like with the ten of swords reverse you're not doing that anymore you're just over it you're just like you know what i'm just i'm done i, I can't keep thinking about this person this situation i keep i can't keep letting it stress me out see it's like i can't even say anything because i feel like that's how you guys felt like you were just stuck like damn what do i do but the ten of swords are in reverse so that's good that means you guys are releasing this energy you're letting it go you're coming out of a cycle you know that puts you through a lot of hell a lot of betrayal um deception um, there was a lot of pain here and it was due to the fact that either someone was committed or married or you, you're just not happy in your marriage anymore. You're wanting something new. Okay. Now what's on your mind is the king of wands reverse. Some of you guys could have been dealing with another fire sign. 
okay, that kept lying to you, kept trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Um, this person would have came detached. Um, but sometimes with the King of Wands reverse, that can be your energy, Sagittarius. And I feel like for you guys, that more so is your energy. But I feel like that's why you're in the King of Wands reverse energy. So with that being said, King of Wands reverse and what's on your mind, I definitely feel like you guys are at a point where you're just like, you know what, I'm detaching. And the King of Wands in reverse can be someone not taking action towards a person or a situation. So I feel like um, what's on your mind is just you, you're just at a point where you're like, I'm not taking action towards the situation anymore. I'm not putting any more energy or effort into this situation. It's not working out. You know, they're not going to play me for a fool. They're not going to, you know, um, you know, just keep lying to me. So I feel like um, you're just in that King of Wands energy, King of Wands in reverse. Like you're done, you're over it, you're tired. Okay. Now um, in your foundation, we do have the moon. Yeah, so with the moon, Cancer, Pisces, energy. Um, but the moon is just like, you know, just the different phases and cycles of the relationship, the illusion, the lies. Um, for some of you guys, you guys could be dreaming about this person. Maybe you guys dream that you guys were going to be together and have like some happy ever after. And that's why we have that ten of pinnacles there, you know. But that's the challenge. You're not getting that. You're not getting what you want. So you're walking away. I feel like you guys are just kind of getting fed up, okay. Um, you feel like you have no control in this situation. King of Wands in reverse. The King of Wands reverse can be controlling or um, be temperamental, but I just feel like you guys are like the King of Wands reverse where you're like detached. Like you're just, you're not moving forward, okay? Not putting energy into this anymore. In the recent past, we have the Six of Pentacles. So, you know, Six of Pentacles here, um, I feel like in the recent past, there was an equal give and take, okay? This person, you know, wanted to um, be with you. Or a lot of you guys are... A lot of you guys found out that they were still giving into another situation, Six of Pentacles, either or. But I do feel like even though the Six of Pentacles is in the upright, I feel like at one point in time or in the recent past, they were a little bit more invested in you guys' relationship and they were giving you guys a little bit more attention and then it stopped, okay? Um, because the King of Wands is the reverse and that's what's on your mind. So something had to happen. Something changed, okay? We do have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse for the near future. Yep, see? So I feel like this person was investing in you. Um, they were giving you time, energy, effort. You know, um, there was an equal give and take, but only for a little while. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Could be a Virgo. And it's like, you see that you still can't trust this person. You see that things still aren't really moving forward the way you want it to. Um, could be towards Virgo Capricorn. Um, but things aren't moving forward. You feel like you're being taken advantage of. So I feel like you're finally walking away from that situation in the near future. Okay? Now, how you see yourself, the emperor, yep, taking back your power. You see yourself as the emperor in control again, okay? Because remember, you're the king of wands in reverse. That's what's on your mind, okay? The king of wands is not stupid, okay? Upright or reverse, Even, especially when he's attached. That means he's, he's, he might not be putting energy into something, but he's planning his next move, okay? And you are the emperor, and this is how you see yourself. So taking back your power, taking back control, all right? How they see you, nine of pentacles reverse. Okay, so I feel like with the nine of pentacles in reverse, and that's weird because they see you as um, still attached, maybe still clinging on to them, maybe still wanting to be with them. Nine of pentacles in reverse. Okay, but I feel like in the recent past or um, even before, like before this emperor energy, because this is how you see yourself. But with this nine of pentacles in the near future, what I'm feeling with this nine of pentacles in reverse and how they see you is I feel like in the recent past or recently, um, they could have seen you as like clingy and nagging, you know, trying to hold on, not letting go, but not knowing that, you know, you're over that now. Okay. So someone was being kind of clingy and holding on, you know, and wanting to keep this relationship. But I just feel like one day you guys went to sleep and you woke up and you're just like, you know what? No, nope, I don't want that anymore. I'm taking back my power. You know, the emperor is here. So let's see um, what's in your hopes and fears. Yep. See the ace of cups. It's in reverse. Okay, um, and I feel like that's how you guys feel like this because you're just like, you know what, if they're not going to be receptive to how I feel, I don't want to do it. Ace of Cups in reverse, you're tired of being the rebound, you're tired of them pushing their arm's length, you're just tired of them not really offering you the love, you're being the one that's offering and giving in this relationship. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, so you don't even want to risk it, okay? Now let's look at the potential outcome. Yep, so we have the King of Swords reverse, okay? So I feel like with the King of Swords reverse, that can be you. Um, not showing or expressing any emotion, okay? Um, for others of you, that can be them. Um, a very manipulative energy, someone lying, trying to manipulate you. Um, and that's a potential outcome. But I feel like with this emperor, you're not going to let it happen. All right? At the bottom of the deck, look what we have. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So some type of offer is coming in. All right? Whether it's with them, whether it's with someone new, 
we don't know yet okay so let's definitely clarify that can change the reading righty um so yeah let's see let's see what's going on sagittarius yeah very interesting so let's see why well, just ten of pentacles here for sagittarius as a challenge clarify the ten of pentacles as a challenge for sagittarius yeah we have the five of pentacles reverse all right um so it's like one minute they wanted to come back together and work things out. The next minute they didn't. You know, oh, they're choosing their relationship, their family, their marriage over this relationship. Or maybe they were married or had a family or children, you know, and they're choosing that relationship over you guys. For some of you guys, um, their families know each other or like this is like um, a high, like a sweetheart relationship or something. And I feel as if. Yeah, for some of you guys, um, or you guys could have that relationship with that person. And it's like they really want to be with you and work it out with you, but I feel like they're already committed and with someone else. For some of you guys, I feel as if they married someone for the wrong reason, and it was for financial reasons, and that's why. Um, going to this Five of Pentacles reverse. Yep, see the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's with someone for financial reasons, okay? Um, and that's the challenge, and that's why. Okay, or someone just feels like they have a lot to lose and they don't want to walk away from that right now. Okay, so let's go into this King of Wands reverse. This is um, what's on your mind. All right, so why is the King of Wands reverse for Sagittarius and what's on their mind? Two of Wands. Yep, see, making a decision. And also someone's looking for a come up, you know, so I feel like if this is someone that you're dealing with, there is a lot of manipulative energy because they see and view you as the Ten of Pentacles. All right, so, uh oh, oh shit. Yeah, so we have the two of wands here, making some type of decision, okay? And that's why you're being detached. That's why the king of wands is reversed for what's on your mind. You're wanting something better. You're ready to make some type of decision. You're tired of waiting. Um, so two of wands. Yeah, see, we have the magician reverse. You know, so someone is trying to manipulate you. It could be a Gemini or a Virgo, but you're tired of it, you know? So you're making a decision. You're detached right now, not giving into it. Um, yep, you're just not giving into it. The magician reverse can also be someone stubborn as well. And I feel like that's how you guys are acting, just stubborn and just ignoring them, you know, um, until you guys make some type of decision. Yep, see, two of swords reverse and the king of pentacles. Some of you guys have someone new coming in or you're dealing with someone new. Could be a toy Virgo Capricorn. Okay, so we have the two of swords reverse. You completely detach yourself from this person. And with the king of pentacles, you're going towards someone new. Okay, um... Or that's what you're wanting from this king of pentacles, this person that's committed or married. You want them to come out of a relationship and offer and give to you. So you're trying to manipulate manipulate them into, you know, being with you or they're just being very manipulative. Okay. Um, and you're just ready to detach yourself from that situation. And um, there is someone new around that's ready to offer. Okay. Or someone that has a lot to offer. Okay. So let's see why the moon is in your foundation. We have the Two of Cups, the Chariot in Reverse. Then we have a lot of cards. So we have the Two of Cups, the Chariot in Reverse, the Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Seven of Wands in Reverse. So I see this as being something on and off, on and off. Because the Two of Cups is telling me that there is a connection, but with the Chariot, it's not going anywhere. It's not moving forward. It could be with a Cancer. The Knight of Pentacles, someone is telling you that they need more time or they want to be with you, but they're moving very slow. And with the Seven of Wands in Reverse, that's your energy. I feel as if you're withdrawing, you know, you're walking away um, because they are taking too long. You're tired of these, these different phases that you're going through with this person, you know, so you're just kind of over it. It's not moving the way you want it to move or it's just you feel like it's not going anywhere. Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles here for the recent past. Um, let's see what we got. Four of Pentacles. Yep, see, so you guys were, everything was good in the past. Four of Pentacles, they were holding on to you. You guys were coming together. Um, but then we have the Eight of Cups reverse. So, yeah, so they came back, wanted to work things out. But then I feel like they went back to someone else because we have the Six of Pentacles here, too, again. You know, so like I said, they were giving into two different situations. But then I feel like they just can't couldn't keep up. Because they were dealing with both of you guys. Very strong. Yep. See the Empress and the Five of Swords. They could have lied to you and told you they broke it off with the mother of their child or their wife. You know. But if not, they were playing mind games. Manipulating both of you guys. Okay. So, um, let's see why this Knight of Pentacles is coming up in reverse um, for the near future. For Sagittarius. Why this Knight of Pentacles in reverse? Sagittarius. The Tower. Yep. See the Star in reverse. You're giving up. Could be a Scorpio or an Aquarius. You're just giving up. You know. You're just tired of the unexpected. 
Okay, the star in reverse is like you thinking negative, thinking the worst. Yeah, but you're thinking the worst because there's a tower here. And it's like one minute you're good and then boom, they hit you with something new. Or you guys can't be together. Or I'm back with my person. Or, you know, I need some time. And you're just tired of it. So um, you're finally um, letting go. Okay, that's why we have the emperor here for how you see yourself. Why is the emperor here for Sagittarius? Yep, see the Page of Pentacles. Taking your offer elsewhere, Ten of Cups. Going towards where you're happier, okay? Um, for some of you guys, there's an offer coming in, okay, with the Ten of Cups. And we have the Emperor here. So this is how you see yourself. So I feel like for some of you guys, this Emperor is someone coming into your life that is ready to offer and give you something that is coming with the Ten of Cups if you were to walk away from this situation. Or it can be this King of Pentacles here. Why is this Ten of Cups here? The Queen of Cups reverse. So someone's ending a relationship to come towards you. This is the other person, the death card. They can be ending it with a Scorpio, okay? Or because you withdraw and walked away from the situation, it's, then they see that you're serious. They're ending it possibly with a Scorpio. And they're coming towards you, and you're going to get your Ten of Cups with this person. They're making an offer, okay? Um, for some of you guys, this for a few. Someone's um, wife or husband passed, and they really want to be with you and have this relationship, but... They need to heal and release this person. And I know it's going to be hard because I feel like um, they have history. They had children. You know, there was time in that situation. But then it's like you guys are in love and you guys have a relationship. And I don't feel like you guys are like, oh, okay, well, you just need to get over that person. But I feel like they jumped into the relationship too fast with you. And they weren't healed or over that relationship. Okay. Um, so let's see what the nine of pentacles is coming up in reverse. This is for how they see you. Two of Pentacles. Uh oh. Nine of Wands reverse. Oh, so they see you no longer holding on. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Like you're no longer being clingy and holding on to them. Nine of Wands reverse. You detach yourself, like right? so you you giving up. Two of Pentacles. You're finding balance. You're just um over it, you know. You don't you no longer want to rekindle this. Um, or so that's how they feel you that's how they um they're looking at you or viewing you, you know, that's how they see you. As not wanting to rekindle this anymore, like fully walking away, giving up. Nine of Wands in reverse. You don't have the energy anymore. King of Wands in reverse, remember? All right. So we have the Ace of Cups for um, your hopes and fears. It's in reverse. Page of Swords. And the Six of Swords in reverse. Yep, see? I told you someone's not healed. Someone's taken a long time to heal a relationship or just heal in general so that they can move forward and be with you. Okay, and with the page of sword, that's what you're waiting for them to communicate to you. You know, like they're they're healing or they're ready to heal or that they're no longer feeling stuck and releasing themselves from a relationship so you guys can come together and be together. So the ace of cups is you keeping them at arm's length, not wanting to let them in because you feel like they're going to hurt you again or not give you the love that you're wanting from them. Okay, so we have this king of swords reverse for the potential outcome Sagittarius. Let's see what this is about. The justice card. Okay. So if someone was lying and being manipulative, they're coming back to be honest or they're being honest about something now. The truth is out. Okay. Um, why is justice here? It could be a little bit of Libra. And justice keeps popping up in all my readings, which is really weird. Um, why is justice here? Clarify justice. Yep. The high priestess and the three of swords reverse. They're following their intuition. Okay. The three of swords are releasing themselves from a third party situation or a third party situation has ended. With the Three of Swords. Yep. The Nine of Swords. Oh, the card was flipped over. Four of Cups has been stressful. You know, um, they don't want to lose out on this, miss out on this opportunity. They really do want to be with you. The Shame card. This person is finally finding the strength and the courage to come towards you. Could be a Leo that you guys are waiting for. Okay. So they're finally releasing the third party and coming towards you is what I'm getting. You have this Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? So if I have the Ace of Pentacles, this is the overall energy. All right. Let's see why this Ace of Pentacles is here. Ace of Swords reverse. And we have a Field of Wands reverse. So I feel like this person is wanting to return and wanting to, wanting to return and offer you something. But there hasn't been any communication yet. This is what they're coming towards you with the Ace of Pentacles. They're coming towards you with an offer. But I don't, um, you guys are not going to know this though. Because you guys aren't talking. Ace of Swords reverse. There's no communication coming in. Yep, see Eight of Wands reverse. You guys aren't talking. All right, so they're about to open up communication. Okay, um. One to this one. Be a cuts in reverse. Judgment. Yep. So they're going to make a decision about this third party situation first. We have judgment here. Three of cups in reverse. 
And once they make the decision, then they're going to open up to you. And that's the offer coming in, Ace of Pentacles. So you're going to get what you want. They're releasing themselves from a third-party situation so that you guys can be together. For some of you guys, this Queen of Cups in reverse is the person that they're with, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I feel like that, I feel like very heavy, especially with this chariot here. And I feel like that's who has been making them feel stuck. And with the death card, they're finally putting it to an ending. It could be like a Cancer or a Scorpio that they're dealing with, but I'm feeling Cancer more than Scorpio. And they're finally putting an ending to it, okay? Um, no longer letting that person blackmail them anymore. Or, um, they're no longer resisting some type of change, okay? So let's see what we got. Let's pull some Romance Angels for Sagittarius. Oh, this one is sticking out. Oh, we got worth waiting for. At the bottom of the deck, we have past life relationship. Okay, so you two have known each other before. And that's probably why you feel like this. You're just like, damn, like I know this is the person I should be with. We have chemistry here. Um, we have worth waiting for. And then we have wedding. Yep, see, this situation involves marriage. I already knew it. I've seen that in the cards. Okay, so we have chemistry. And with that, we have the four of cups reverse. Okay. So, I feel like with this Four of Cups coming up in reverse, there is chemistry there, okay? But someone's not focused. Someone's not motivated to keep this going. Um, and I feel like it's because of the other relationship, you know, that they're going through. Like, I mean, that they're in. That's stopping them from coming towards you. So, I feel like for some of you guys, you really feel like the love is unrequited, okay? Yep, see the strength card in reverse. You feel like they've given up because they're not taking action. They're not doing anything. Or this is you giving up. But there is chemistry there. There is love there, Okay? We have worth waiting for. Okay? So, with the worth waiting for card, it says divine timing is at work in your love life. So, let's see what this is about. The five of pentacles reverse. You guys are going to work it out. Okay? So, what's worth waiting for is them coming back towards you and figuring everything out and you guys coming together. But I feel like um, with this worth waiting for, it's kind of like they need to be the one to come towards you and bring it back together. Not you, okay? And then we have wedding. This situation involves marriage. And we have the Knight of Wands reverse. And that's your energy, Sagittarius. So some of you guys could be married. If not, um, your relationship has just been unstable. Your marriage, or they've been back and forth between you and someone that they're married to. Okay? Let's clarify that. Yep, see the Eight of Swords reverse. And that's why you're thinking the worst. But you're trying not to with the Eight of Swords reverse. Okay? You're trying not to let it get to you. Or you're trying to get over the fact that they are married and... I feel like this person is going through the process for some of you guys. Like, they are going through a divorce. They are in and out with someone. But there's, you just, I feel like you just don't have any more patience or your patience has run thin because they've been so back and forth. Like, it's too much back and forth energy. Yep, see, and worth waiting for a five of pinnacles reverse. We have judgment. So they're going to make a final decision. They're going to choose you. They're calling judgment on this whole situation. Okay? Um, right now there might feel like there is no chemistry there, but chemistry is dead between you guys. But I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like this person needed to focus on this other situation so that they could come towards you. And that's what's worth waiting for. You know, this wedding and this person, the divorce and this person are ending this long-term relationship. I feel like it has been stressful for them as well. Okay. So let's pull a couple messages, Sagittarius. These fell out of my lap. So we have, look. We have celebration. This is a wonderful time in your life. Difficulties fall away. And the light at the end of the tunnel is a star you can wish upon. The timing is right to make long-term plans for a joyful future. Have faith that things are going to turn out beautifully. All right? So you guys have the celebration card that fell on my lap. And then we have five of emotion. Forgiveness is an important part of healing. Forgive yourself and those around you for any mistakes of the past so that everyone can move forward. Grieving is a normal part of life. Ask your angels for those you love to help you move towards the process quickly so that you can get back on the path to joy. Okay? So there's going to be a celebration after there's forgiveness. Okay? And let's pull one more message. Four of thought. Spend time in nature listening for guidance from your angels and your own inner voice because overanalyzing that situation or the situation won't provide the answers you are seeking. Consider taking a vacation or a small break to help you rejuvenate 
and become clear on what your next step should be. Meditation could be very helpful. And you guys have that. Remember I told you guys with the stress, do a meditation, surrender, you know, like, um, don't stress yourself out over this. All right. So with this celebration card, what do we have? The tower. So there is going to be something that happens unexpected, but the tower is a positive energy, um, with this card because the tower is like, they're going to, they're coming when you least expect it or they're coming back into your life and they want to build a solid foundation, but you're not expecting this from them because you're so used to the goddamn mind games and bullshit they put you through. Okay. We have five of emotions and we have the two of pinnacles. Okay. So in order to rekindle this relationship and come together, um, it's like there needs to be some type of forgiveness. Okay. And then we have the four of thoughts and with that we have the three of pinnacles. So things are going to work out. I feel like you guys have nothing to worry about, even though I know I can't say that because you guys have been through so much with this person, but it's just saying like you guys are actually going to come together and put plans in action and build and have something. Okay. Um, but just don't overthink, stop stressing yourself out. Okay. So let's pull your healing, your, um, healing yourself Oracle. Let's see what you guys need to heal at this time. Um, Sagittarius. All right. And then that would be your reading. So, what does Sagittarius need to heal at this time? Oh, my cards are upside down. Messages for Sagittarius. What do they need to heal at this time? Oh, wow. Self-love. Jim and I got that same card. Okay? Uh-oh. And I also think Virgo got that same card. Wow. If I can remember. I don't remember. Um, Let's see. We have... It says, take... Time out to get to know yourself and what works for you in this particular cycle of your life. Some of the biggest obstacles to self-love are self-criticism and perfectionism, which lead to harsh judgment of the self, closing down and eventually illness. Have you been trying to compete with others, get approval from people in your family, or simply pushing yourself too hard? If so, you need to soften and, soften and start listening to your body. Focus on keeping your heart open and practice analyzing and recognizing the good in yourself and others. This card beckons you to breathe love in and out every moment of the day. Ask yourself, what changes do I need to make to my daily routine so that love can oh, so that love can come through every breath, action, and relationship I engage in? Choose to open your heart through softness, deep breathing, relaxation movement, find beauty in nature, in your home, in your pain, in your love, in your sadness, in prayer. Keep your heart open, even though it makes you feel vulnerable and exposed. All right. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. It's time for you guys to open your heart up and it's time for you guys to allow love in. Okay. Um, when you guys pray, you know, when you're sad, when you're in pain, in your love situation is just telling you that it's okay to open and um open your heart up in love and also be vulnerable at the same time all right so that's what i um have for you um sagittarius i was about to say that's what i love for you <laughs> that's what i have for you sagittarius i love you guys i love you i love you um you guys are amazing if you guys want to book with me fireintuition.com okay i love you much and i will talk to you guys again soon bye sagittarius